Hello there everyone, and uh, welcome back to Napoleon Total War. We're back here for another commentary battle set within Weiss Coffin's Battle of the Bros. So this is a continuation on the earlier battle. And we've both lost some units. I lost one of my Freikorps. I'm about to move uh, one of them and the cavalry unit over there. So I lost one Freikorps unit. And a wise coffin lost two units. I can't remember which ones he lost, but he lost two of them. So I have a bit of an advantage in that range. I also have quite a bit of an advantage just because of the army pick. Most of his units, infantry units, are really bad. The only ones that come close to mine are his. Uh, I believe his, uh, what's it called, his Cossack line infantry and they're equal to, I think, my sort of equal-ish to my garrison unit although they have uh, worse accuracy compared with them. Anyways, there's probably gonna be a while until we see the third video uh, because uh, we actually did the third and the fourth in the third one, I trash him so bad, he surrenders within five minutes. And for the fourth one, I trash him again. Um, it actually quite even when I looked at the kills. Uh, I think I maybe killed 600 and he killed 300. But yet again, uh, basically what it is, is for every battle, is he gets really surprised by the fact that I am able to... Uh, spawn units outside of the deployment zone which allows me to ambush him really early on and take him off guard and I can understand it for the first one it wasn't super clear that they uh, spawned up ahead uh, for the second one which is this one it's gonna be pretty obvious because the cavalry is gonna come really quickly around um, but I don't think he really... I don't think... I think he missed that in that one as well. And then for the third one, it's super obvious because I really you know, trash him really hard in the beginning with two ambushes uh, to throw off uh, his entire playstyle and he basically goes into chaos mode and he panics and he can't do anything and so his entire army uh, is marching straight into my canister shots and stuff and right into my army uh, while uh, his cavalry is being chased off by uh, another part of my ambush um, so he's completely sent off by that um, and what we did was that we s decided that because he doesn't have that much experience in total war we are we're gonna give him some time to train up and we're going to redo the medium fun fund battles um, because uh, well it is it's a bit embarrassing for him to lose uh, that way but it it isn't so much that he's a bad player it's just that he's not as used to Napoleon I think as I am he's played a lot of Empire he says but I cannot really tell it the thing is it might be that he's played a lot of single player and that doesn't really prepare you against the uh, multiplayer. Anyways, I'm gonna throw in my cavalry here and it's gonna have quite devastating result. Not the actual charge, but some of the, uh, uh, as we saw there, just team killed 12 of his own cavalrymen with the cannons. Those cannons are gonna team kill quite a lot and those team kills are the ones that really gonna make this charge uh, worthwhile. So we're not actually able to kill that many men in this charge. We're broken right here. We've managed to kill a few of these guys, maybe some of these, but most of the kills from this charge is gonna come down to his cannons especially for the fact that one cannon crew is gonna kill the entire cannon crew the other one gonna entirely kill it I think maybe yeah they've already destroyed one of the cannons 
They're going to destroy all of them and they're going to shoot basically every one of that crew down to nine people, I think. Boom, they kill even more people and they're going to keep doing that. And also it's going to kill quite a few of his uh, line infantry to troops here. And really his strength comparatively to m in, in this battle is that he's got horse artillery, which I was really jealous of him, that I didn't think of taking that um, for my army. And I can't change it because once you set your army for the first battle, uh, that's set and then you have to play it out. Um, so, which really should give him a lot of mobility and he should be able to move these cannons around and quickly move them closer, spray me with canister. If I come close, he can pull back and regroup and so on. Um, but he us he just keeps them here. So, they're, they're actually a bit more expensive than my cannons. So, the fact that he doesn't use them as they're intended to, to be able to quickly move them around the field. The thing though is, once you actually move them, they're quite easily taken out in this mod, so in the same in the same sense I can understand that he does move them. Uh, because I think in one of our battles, uh, one of these art similar artillery pieces is uh, moving, and uh, once it's actually limbered, a single cannon shot could bounce through and take out uh, all of them. Anyways, uh, we can see here there's only nine people left. Uh, and it's not going too well for him right now. I also have these guys, which I still have another surprise for him here, since he's going to march these guys out to attack my cavalry. Um, on its own, not maybe super bad, but these guys can't form square, so... If I would have moved and then maybe attacked in the r side, they're gonna, m and especially since they move away from the rest of their army, it's dangerous. Uh, but he doesn't know as well that I've got these guys lying in wait to come in to ambush. Anyways, he's moved off his cavalry over to his left flank in an obvious move right here. Really clear, super obvious and I've spotted them from a mile away. I realize that he's going to go for my cannons, so I unlimber them, load canister, and we're going to see what happens. I, be I become a little bit too cocky for my own good, uh, but for the f th this unit, is not going to fare very well. I should, what I should have done at this point, started moving troops to cover either behind or like, yeah, it's like that to cover them. Uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the uh, Cossack unit here. Not gonna go very well for them. You saw the entire first line there got wiped out. I saved this one. I could have shot both of them, but I know that they were gonna come a different. Uh, different times so I waited and I held this off the, these cannon shots are gonna go off just as the I mean the enemy cavalry is about to touch the cannons when they fire which also caused a bit of problem because then a few horses actually soak up all the bullets so we don't get as many kills as we would have done if I had fired earlier and we're in a bit of a pickle here right now because his cavalry is engaged with Our men my are running, sir. cannons and one of them has been shattered and uh, that's not going to come back and this one uh, is in risk of being taken out and all my artillery trains are retreating off the field and uh, that means that even if I manage to save my cannons I'm not going to be able to get them back. Luckily for me though, because of the way the morale works in this game, the Cossacks just gives up and runs away. 
and I'm gonna be able to shoot them down quite heavily. Same time, over on this side, he's marched out. And are there actually, f yeah, they have noticed these guys now. So they are actually firing at the, uh, the Lutzenkopf. They haven't killed anyone. But now the Lutzenkopf is killing quite a few of them. And my cavalry is coming in. What I usually do here is I want to hold off on uh, on uh, attacking the unit or clicking attacking the unit because if you're playing the AI and you click attack, the unit's going to start reacting and the AI is going to basically know that you're attacking. And in this mod as well, uh, there's a horrible trumpet sound every time you click to attack with the cavalry. Dun, 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 dun. Um, which is quite loud, so you would know that I'm charging in. Now, I was focused over here, so uh, I clicked behind here, but I never went ahead and clicked attack. Luckily, though, for me, that's not going to be a problem. But we're going to ride straight in without actually... Uh, With act actually charging. But they still break and we're gonna kill quite a few. At this point, he's quite clearly in quite a bit of trouble. Uh, his uh, horse here are falling back. They're gonna be hit by cannons throughout since I'm targeting them. And it's quite easily. Uh, they're quite easy to hit with cannons, it's uh, such large targets. So, I, as I remember, these are not actually going to cause any trouble for me anymore beyond this point. They're going to ride a bit back and forth here on the battlefield, but they're going to be destroyed. Mars. And... This unit is more or less broken. It's actually going to recover and form somewhere around here and I'll send my cavalry to deal with them again. At the same time my Lutzenkopf is moving up here and we're about to square off with another one of these, uh, this time an even worse uh, infantry unit. This is basically town militia or armed militia or whatever they're called. At the same time, marching up to my main division here. Landwehr in the back, Fusiliers in the front, and two garrison units in the middle. I'm going to keep the garrison units in the middle, and then I'm going to send the Fusiliers and the Landwehr off to the sides, and we're going to sort of half envelop the enemy uh, units and we're just gonna wear them down to to the point where they uh, break. He's gonna have a bit of luck with his artillery. They're gonna spray me with a bit of canister which is gonna kill quite a few men in this garrison unit. They're gonna go down to maybe 80 men or something like that. Now one of the few <laughs> Uh, strong units in the game is the general. His general is gonna send this cavalry unit off and they're gonna send these Lutzenkopf off all on their own. So I'm thinking maybe if I if I do have cavalry in the future I might super boost them with the uh, chevrons just so they have really strong morale so they actually act similar to cavalry what cavalry would do in in normal Napoleon. Anyways, he's gonna send these guys off as well. I'm gonna try my best to save them, but uh, in original state they've only got five morale, which is terrible. But at the same time, as we see, I am uh, fanning out my troops to envelop him. And we're going to move up the Fusiliers. One of the things about uh, the Russians is that 
quite a lot of the units have, or especially these bad ones that he's chosen to Our men are running, sir. field and his army, the Oblisheni and the basically armed citizenry, they have lower than normal uh, range. They've got a hundred, no, not a hundred, a hundred is the normal range. These guys have 95 in range. So both these two units that he's got close to the artillery are basically never going to fire almost because uh, he didn't micromanage that and he didn't realize that these guys weren't firing. Uh, these guys are going to fire but they have no chance against fusiliers and spread out in skirmish formation. Plus these guys have for this mod a quiet beast uh, accuracy which is 48 compared with most of the Russians having maybe 20-25 uh, and especially these really crap units uh, not very good let's see so his general has finished off the Lutzen Corps and they're running off I tried to sort of save them uh, because I was going to send my Sir. general to help. Sir, our general is under but attack. But he was stationed on this part of the artillery, so I wanted to make sure micromanage around, so I don't team kill them. And it just took too long to get them over there. And I sent these guys, but that was taking also too long. So we got the main fight going down. As you can see, I'm holding my center back because of the risk of canister coming from these guys which I'm worried about but once I've uh, really beaten these guys down quite a bit uh, actually I'm moving them up right now and I bet that's because as we can see he's actually moved some of his units up in front of his cannon but you can't expect to uh, do much when you have armed citizenry basically versus a proper line infantry unit and as you can see these guys aren't even firing back they're just standing there taking it same for this unit and that's because of the 95 range so they they don't actually have range or maybe he forgot to put fire at will, but I doubt it. Uh, so I'm, I feel I'm pretty safe here because uh, he's moved the, these guys up uh, in front of the cannon. So I don't think he's going to use canister. He's going to... Uh, actually, he just did use canister and shot some of his own men there. Or is it, it, I'm not sure, maybe it is cannonball or round shot. We're gonna see here. Ah, he's actually shooting canister, trying to shoot it through in between here. Or maybe that's a lucky Yeah, that's a lucky coincidence. He's aiming for this unit and he's hitting these guys. So at this point we can quite clearly see where the battle is going. I've got all of these units targeting these and only two of his is actually firing back at me. So it's not going very well for him. He's moving these guys in but it's nothing that's going to need to change the outcome of the battle at this point. And he's going to do a similar thing that I did in the first battle and team kill some of his general unit. Which isn't going to help his current plan, which is to go in and charge the Landwehr unit over here. That's a desperate last attempt here. I'm going to move my general over, because the, the, the general unit's still quite strong, and we saw that it could uh, chase off an entire unit of uh, Lutzenko without um, actually losing a single man. So there's a risk here that he could take out the Landwehr. Interesting thing here to see the uh, to see the uh, Fusiliers. 
actually forming a square but they're still all like kneeling down so very interesting square and it's not they're not really holding the square as well since they were in skirmish formation so it's sort of a skirmish square which is kind of strange anyways I'm doing similar to what I did with the uh, fry core is I'm moving them into thick formation hoping that will sort of save them He's also moving up the... Uh, which is actually quite a smart tactic which I've used um, a number of times in normal Napoleon is to do... I do sort of a fake cavalry charge on units. They form square and then I have a line unit coming up. And because these guys, like this is only 25%, uh, is now having to fight off with 100% of their line. Uh, which is a clever tactic, but in this case, uh, I'm not. It it's not going to work really because uh, it's really too late at this point. Monsters Boosting my men and counter charging with a land bear. And over here, these guys are broken. I don't think they've returned a single shot same with these guys and I'm going to move up the the fusiliers to start targeting the artillery because they're still throwing canister down here which is killing quite a lot of men so that's there's a danger there but rest of his army is now fleeing yeah, so his only units is the cannon these units and the general but I'm calling in these guys for a charge um, because I, even though my charge of normal um, infantry in the last battle didn't go too well, uh, here I've got quite a bit of an advantage in number and uh, also the general is sort of on the verge of dying so I'm pretty sure I will be able to actually win this fight over here. <laughs> And we can see this this we charge. Break. This charge went a lot better, but still I lose a lot of men. So uh, the the bayonet charge is uh, a very dangerous thing to do. Anyways, I killed his general and. I don't even see his... Oh, there's no one left in the bodyguard. We completely destroyed the bodyguard. And now the last unit is running. 25 minutes. Actually, the cannons are still left. But they're being... Uh, yeah, they're running there as well. The fusiliers have done their job. Actually, the uh, the peasants are back. But he decides to surrender. So we can see here, I lost 300 uh, men. He killed 250, so 50 men I team killed myself. More interesting though is I killed 550 roughly, and he lost 650. So he team killed 100 men, which is about 10% of his force, which is quite a lot. It becomes even more. Uh, when you calculate how many of uh, of uh, um, what's it called of the his total losses that he lost, so one sixth of his total losses was inflicted by himself. On my side, the Lutzenkorp Fico cavalry is the one that killed the most. Most likely, when they chased down that Oblicheni unit. Then it's the Fusiliers because they've got great accuracy and also great range. Uh, then my artillery piece here. Uh, they lost one man and they managed to kill 54. But there's a lot here that's not killing a lot of men. And it's an interesting part of the mod which probably gives a more realistic result of what would actually happen in these kinds of battle. That you wouldn't have the sort of mass death, even though 
uh, Weisskofen in this case lost 60% of his force and I lost 30 uh, as casualties. Obviously not all of these casualties would be uh, killed. Uh, quite a few of these might just be wounded but they're not going to be taking part. Anyways, uh, as I said, because I trashed him so badly in battle 3 and 4, I'm not going to show them. Instead, we're going to give Weisskofen a bit of time to train up and hopefully he'll he'll get he learn the nerves of steel and he won't be um uh, be so easily rattled by my uh, ambushes which has proven very deadly against his force up to this point i'm uh, quite interested to see what strategy is going to come up with uh which means for the medium battle i'm going to have to try to figure out as well what his new strategy is uh what his plan is to uh, defeat me Anyways, I hope you enjoy this, and I've also made a uh, machinima of this battle, which should be up roughly at the same time, just like the last one. And then we'll see once Wise Coffin is ready to uh, see if he can face off against me again in medium funds. Medium funds are going to be quite interesting, since we got quite a bit more gold to spend, and... Uh, since there's more troops to control, uh, the the uh, it's going to be interesting to see a lot of micromanagement fails, which with this kind of morale system could lead to a lot of interesting mass routes and stuff. So that will be interesting to see. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.